Where is the most appealing place that you have visited? Because I know you travel with um, whenever I I, uh, I think the most enjoyable trip I had was the one we took shortly after every year after every day, I think it was. When Mirava and Hilton and I took a truck and went, drove out to the West Coast. We spent three weeks on the road. Mm -hmm. We just drove around all wherever we wanted to. That was the last time we got to go on any extensive trip. Since then, I've been out there many times, but they haven't been out here very really. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I want to pull out of here anymore. But that was a fun trip. But I've enjoyed a lot of short trips. Around this area, too. What kind of landscape do you do? I like the country. The hills. Trees. I don't like the prairie, I don't think. I've seen some deathless country out there. It was nice to see. Mm -hmm. Lincoln Blake saw the Badlands this morning, and they couldn't imagine what they were like telling them what I had seen of them, and when they saw them, what they were really like. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to actually get to see them in your own eyes. Have you traveled anywhere out of the United States? Just Canada. Mm -hmm. We went up there to see some of my, that was his aunt and his cousin. Mm -hmm. And we went all the way across from above Wisconsin, all the way across and came down through Vermont. Mm -hmm. Montreal, Quebec, and that. That was interesting. I always thought the colors were so much brighter up there. Whether that was a cold temperature or what. The colors were so bright and far. But I remember about it. I could always say that too, though. I've always wanted to go to Canada. What? I've always wanted to go to Canada. Canada. That's an easy trip to me. Ever since I'm in Green Gables. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Green Gables up there? We we read in the Green Gables for our children to go to class at Eric and I together. We did? My favorite one was I did. Aaron was on TV too. What was your favorite Aaron thing? I don't think I have only read a couple. Which one was yours? Good he's reading. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah. As long as kids are reading. Yeah, that's the point. Get them to read. Yeah. I didn't have any books when I was growing up. I read every book in the school library that we had. Wow. That, you know, I never had any trouble in school, so I was the head. And you get bored to go. Mm -hmm. And I went to eight, when eight years in long school room. Wow. You heard the classes, you know, a long time before I ever got to that class. <laughs> so you knew it all. This school is much harder now. Mm -hmm. I think hearing what Lane and Blake have done, uh, I hear more about them because they're closer by mm -hmm. going through elementary school and up into high school. They know so much more than I ever touched on. They don't even use the same terms mm -hmm. in algebra and geometry as ones I use. Mm -hmm. The only class I didn't like was physics. We didn't have choices. We took what they all I didn't know I didn't have to take physics. I didn't like physics. <laughs> I took that in my senior year and then we passed.
transfer from the one school to another school just for that one year. It would be much better if the break had been two years. I took it in college. And uh, uh -huh. I got Carol Fever and missed seven weeks of school. But I didn't have to take any final. That's my grade, which is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Have you ever taken a college class? Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to go. Mm -hmm. That's interesting to me. I thought I was going to do some of that stuff when I retired. Mm -hmm. I never did. <laughs>